with them. Just me and Kenny hunting this morning. Uh, again, we're just trying to get the dogs tough uh, early part of the season and uh, want to get them on the ground and let them run some. Uh, you know, we kind of work a full-time job. It's hard to get them out a couple of times during the week. That would be nice, but anyway, hey guys, stay with us and hope you enjoy the video. That's a nice one. Yes, sir. Nice one right there, y'all. Woo, doggy boy. Wildlife Adventures, that's how we roll. Mini Pearl. Look, Mini Pearl. He still got the pearl oh, moving hand. Look, he still got the tight Mini Pearl. I might take it back after I use it. <laughs> Yeah, mini pearl. Be in heat. Yeah. Little grandma out okay. there. Great. I didn't bring that other part. Come on. Come on, Reed. Come on, Reed. Come on, buddy. That's Hank. Hank had a red orange color. All right, Hank got the orange color. That's a puppy right there, y'all. Hank with the orange color. Right there. You know, we're going along hunting right here, and you see that there's a, a pile of stuff right up here behind us. And, uh, you know, this is important too in training dogs to get them to listen to you verbally. Uh, whatever you you know you attempt to get them to do and uh, you know we were down here and our verbal commands to come up here and hunt this little spot here now we don't know if it's a rabbit here but it certainly looks like a good place for one to sit along this hedgerow here and so you want your dogs to listen to your verbal commands and come up here and hunt where you need them to hunt now there's a good chance there's a rabbit in here I can Not I can sure. Hear. And here, <laughs> we get the opportunity get him, to actually him, watch the dogs work, him, see which ones is actually going in there, and seeing if they can hunt. Him, and like I said, we don't know if there's a rabbit sitting him, in this pile here, uh, but there's a good chance that it is. Him, so we'll just let the dogs hunt it. Uh, him, it looks a little too tight for us to jump up him, on top of it. But We'll let the dogs circle it, see if they can find one in there. And at this time, we're looking at the dogs that's going around here that are not actually getting in there. That's gonna be your jump dogs, cause they know. Uh, they know, like some of these dogs are going on in there and that's what you want to push that rabbit out of that pile. Find him in there. Get him in there. That was sissy again, wasn't it? This is hunting in there pretty good. Turn this thing around. That spot, he done seen him or something in there. <laughs> he said he's in there. They got him out of there, boy. There he goes right up across yonder. Good, he's turning, he's going back in the woods. Hegel, 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 Hegel. Hegel, Hegel. Oh, my God. 
hang him out. Right. Wind got the scent blowing kind of back and forth. There we go. They're getting lined up. The rabbit went over that way, didn't it? Yeah, it went straight toward those two cedars. See, and then he cut back then. Look, look at Bale. Bale still. She's still on it. Sissy might have it right there. Now, see, we give them time to work this pile right here and that was a tight pile and uh finally worked him enough got the rabbit moving around inside the pile and they got him up got him going so let's see we'll ease over here the rabbit will probably try to come back to this pile we're gonna ease over here next to the woods see if we see that rabbit so just as a rule of thumb we we probably stayed there at that pile probably 10 or 15 minutes in the training your dogs, we kept encouraging them to get in there and hunt. And we actually put our feet up on some of the logs and got to shaking them a little bit. That probably helped get the rabbit moved, but you know, those dogs were surrounded and finally one of them could smell that rabbit in there. So, boom, we got him out. Now they've ran the rabbit up here on this hill. And uh, it's a lot of laps up there too. So we're just gonna hang out and see if we see this rabbit. All right. Yeah, they far enough away. All right, let's ease on up. Come on. He's raised right in here. I just seen the rabbit come down the edge of the field right here. Now we watching. We done seen the rabbit up here. We could probably kill the rabbit. Come down the edge of the field. So we'll see which dogs get the turn and actually come down the side of the field. We're gonna ease up here so we can see him come down the edge of the field. So we'll we'll see what they do. We'll see what they do. The rabbit went back in this big brush pile here. Now I stayed away from the track on the downwind side till the dogs could get past me. Cause if you walk up there where the rabbit has ran, you'll kind of mess the track up. So we'll see if they can get him out of this brush pile. Well, we don't think they're gonna be able to get him out of this big brush pile you see behind me. That's a pretty good size one. Anyway, that's what saves your rabbits from year to year. And uh, they came all through that brush pile, hunted it pretty good in there, but I'm sure it's a few groundhog holes in there. And uh, if he went in one of those root balls, we'd probably never get him out. But anyway, hey, let's go jump another rabbit. We're still hunting these piles. And anytime we put this note, anytime you hunt in a pile like this, you notice Kenny has gone around on that side. So if the dogs are in the pile, sometimes all of them are in the pile and the rabbit will squirt out and he'll be gone and the dogs are still in there giving mouth on them. So I thought I just saw the rabbit right there. But anyway, uh, as the dogs are hunting in there, if you got someone on both sides where they can see the rabbit come out. At least you can call the dogs and put them on them. So we'll hang right here and see if they can get him out of there. 
So I don't know if so I don't know if you can see it, but there's a thicket right over there side of that field. We're working our way to it. Looks like the dogs have already jumped the rabbit over there. I don't know which way the rabbit went, but we'll see here in a minute. I was just kind of looking down the side of this ridge right here. And uh, we were working our way to that thicket. Sound like they got him a foot. Find me a good place to sit down, just listen to the dogs. We can see pretty good. We can see a pretty good ways. So here's this thicket right here. You see Kenny is moving down behind me. So we should be able to see that rabbit come back right here. Always remember, that rabbit is gonna come back to this thicket more than likely. Well, let me give you an update. So they ran that rabbit in this big old swamp bottom behind me and uh, got out there in a big old lap pile. Out there with some trees that fell and lost that rabbit. And uh, man, they, they smoked him pretty good there for a while. And uh, anyway, hey, that's just the way it is. Those rabbits know where those lap piles where they can hide. Anyway, we got some good stuff here behind us. You can see some low line briars in this bottom right here. So we're gonna hunt the dogs in it and see if we can get another rabbit up. Get the dogs in it. And when, we t and when we're talking about encouraging dogs, I'm gonna stand right here. I don't have no briar britches on. I'm gonna stand right here and I'm gonna encourage the dogs to get in here and hunt this stuff. And uh, you know, they'll find little paths, little holes to get in and get underneath this. and. All it takes is one to squall out and the rest of them will be in there and hopefully we can get a rabbit afoot. Find him in there, find him. Get him in there, get him in there. See, that was my point earlier. We hadn't been standing there and saw the rabbit running out. See how the dogs are still in this pile here? See, we caught, Kenny's calling them out now to put them on them. But see, they think they still smell the rabbit here. It's not their fault. So they'll get on it right here. They'll pick it up. Hank wants to leave. Yeah. And as they're cutting back and forth, he, he he wants to leave it. That's that's just a puppy in there, man. Well, we'll stand here and see if they bring him back here. So there's some more piles that we own on that hill. I don't know if they'd rather go all the way over there or not. Around the edge of the field. Yeah. The cabin. So to give you an update. Those dogs have been running that rabbit for about 30 minutes. Down the bottom, across on that big bluff over there. Back and forth, up the same ridge three or four times. 
we was kind of waiting for him to come back to that lap pile, but he hadn't. But there's several lap piles. You can see this one behind me. There's some, a couple up on the hill that the rabbit's been going back and forth from. You know, it's only a matter of time with this this size lap pile for the rabbit to finally get up in one of the dogs just can't push him out. So what I'm doing right now, I'm easing up here to see kind of what the dogs are doing up here. Uh, we were kind of hanging back, just letting them run. I don't want to get up here and see who's doing what right now. Well, that's gonna be a good one to end on right there. Your bell's up in that. Well, the rabbit is somewhere under that trash right there. We finally solved the mystery. Rabbit's been got up underneath this stuff right here. Somewhere in that, got a good run. In that stuff. Wow. <laughs> well, as you can hear, they say he's in there, but that's a pretty big lap pile. I'm not so sure they'd get this rabbit out of here. Anyway, we're getting ready to end this video. Uh, we jumped a few rabbits today. Run some pretty good today. Uh, they seem to be settling in a little bit better. You know, the main thing to do is get your dogs out on the ground. They can't learn anything in the lot. Uh, a, dog, a young puppy has a lot to learn. Loading, unloading, packing with the pack, shutting up and catching up with the pack. Uh, learning to hunt these lap piles, brush piles. So, you know, get your dogs out on the field. Hey, you remember God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Don't forget, hit that like button, click the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And as always, you remember, it's a wild life and I'll see you in the field.